And now let's do a simple example. This, I call this the city example. Inlet of people, people is going in, it's immigration. It will be always positive. Okay, imagine we have this city, it's so cool that many people wants to go in. We're going, 50 people are going in. I don't know, this could be per year. Actually, it could be also per day. You know, you're in a cool city, 50 persons per day sounds like normal. And outlet. We're taking out people. People actually don't like the city. They thought it was cool, but they stay there and they say, nah, I actually don't like this. So we're going to have also emigration, minus three. And then, of course, inside, we will have inside the city people that is burning. Burning, people is being born. We have these 100 babies per year or per day. It doesn't depend on the size. And of course, you will have people dying. That's sad, but we have these people which are dying or consuming themselves. The accumulation, now hopefully you get to understand what's accumulation. What will be the accumulation of the city? And this is almost intuitive. You will say how much people is, or the growth of the city, how much is it? Well, you just need to do this addition. Will be 50 minus 3 plus 100 minus 25, which I have here. And the number gives you 122. What does that mean? This means, since, since it is possible, uh, positive, sorry, you are accumulating 122 persons per year, let's say per year. What will happen if, I don't know, it's not that cool, we don't have that much babies burning, and we have no immigration. Actually, it's a shitty city, we only have immigration and people is dying. We will have zero, minus three, plus zero, minus 25, which will give you minus 28. And what does that mean? Why do we have a negative number? It means that the city is losing, in general, population. So 28 persons per year are disappearing. So hopefully you get the example, because we're going to go to a similar example, but now with more chemistry. So if I ask you what is the accumulation in the system, and I tell you I have inlet of A moles, Oh, no. A kilos of A, it's 100. And I have a production of zero. I'm not producing A. Let's say probably is the reaction I told you before. A is converting to B. So I have no production. And then the consumption is 50. I'm telling that these 50, I just got 100 kilos. And from these 100 kilos, you are producing or cons well. You are producing 50 kilos of B, which means 50 kilos of A are consuming. The outlet, well, let's say it's 25 kilos. So it's very easy. I'm putting 100 kilos inside. The outlet is 25 kilos. So in this system, we either have 75 left. 50 are being consumed. So 50 out. So the only accumulation, so the system is accumulating 25 moles. What does that mean? It probably, with time, it will get full, 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 full of A because it's not reacting and we will have to take out those moles. So just mathematically, I show you this, the mass balance in the system is 100 minus, or plus the production, which we don't have, minus 50, which is the consumption, minus 25, the outlet. Do the math and you get 25 kilograms are being accumulated in the system. So it's easy. You compare it with the seed example. The reactor example is similar. Just get to know what's the inlet, what's the production, what's the consumption, and what's the outlet. That's the actual problem. To know each and to do the math because this is, is a very easy example. We're going to see more like complicated problems. So just keep 